One, first and foremost, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. Once again, it's the brother Shathya from the Chicago camp coming back to you with what I hope is another quick and edifying sit down. And today's episode is going to uh, today's going to be another episode of Hidden in Plain Sight regarding the movie Brightburn, as you see here on the screen. Now, if you haven't seen the movie, stop the video, go watch the movie, and come back. But if you don't care about the spoilers, or if you have seen the movie, please sit down, continue to watch, and I hope you are edified. So, Monday I had a chance to watch this movie, Brightburn, because I had the day off from work. And as I was in the theater and I watched this movie in its entirety, it was very spiritual and it led me to realize that Bad Uncle Esau knows what's about to happen to him. He just showed in his own manner of way that the elite of the elect are going to wake up to the truth of who they are. And when this devil comes down on us, that standard's going to be lifted. And when that happens, we're going to take this kingdom through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And uh, there's... Uh, I'm going to go to Daniel. I think it's 7 and 12. And it says... Or is it... It says... No, it's uh, Daniel 7 and 18. But it says, But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. And Esau showed this in his movie because at the very, very end of Brightburn, uh, the main character here is shown on uh, this guy, this guy's uh, all uh, alternative media YouTube channel. Uh, and the, the guy who's the I guess for a lack of a better phrase, the conspiracy theorist guy, he's the, uh, I forgot his government name, but he played the, uh, I think his name was Merle. He was the uh, the racist brother on The Walking Dead, and he was the guy with the blue uh, face who whistled and the arrow moved on Guardians of the Galaxy. He, he played a conspiracy theorist who had his own YouTube channel he was in the independent media and he looked stressed out and his hair was messed up he looked really disheveled but on his youtube channel he was showing the main character you see here brandon buyer flying through the air you know uh, uh shots of him burning his logo in a big field and uh this one scene where you just see a building just collapsing from right to left and then all of a sudden he flies through the top breaking through the ceiling well and he's just floating in the air for everybody to see and as all this stuff is showing he's going crazy saying well you look at this people did, 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 what, what's going on in this world we got people flying and breaking through buildings and and stuff like this we, we, we gotta wake up people we gotta wake up and see what's going on here because this is real. These these people are out there, and, and we, we got other sightings too. What what's going on? Where we we, we got this the, this woman that's a that's a witch, and she got a rope, and she's going around strangling people. I mean, folks, we got to wake up because if we don't wake up right now, we're going to lose. It, it, that's roughly how he said the segment, and. As I said before, when you watch that, it fully lets you know that bad Uncle Esau, who is the so-called white man, knows that eventually the saints, the elite of the elect, are going to wake up and they're going to get those powers and they're going to take this kingdom. And to prove that, 
we're going to go to I just read you Daniel 7 and 18 we'll read it again it says but the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever even forever and ever and we're going to do this through spiritual powers so we're going to go to back that up we're going to go to uh, I think it's in John greater works than these, I think it's in John. Yep, John 14. And I'm going to start at 11. It says, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also and greater works than these shall he do because I go into my father. Now you have to think about all the things that Yahweh Shai did. He turned water into wine. He walked on water. He stopped a storm. He literally healed the blind. He made the handicapped walk. And think straight. He cast out demons. <laughs> resurrected the dead. And. There's even more than that. Because I can't remember which gospel it, is. it was in. Either Luke or John. Where he said that he's going to stop writing right here. For if he was to truly write about all the things that Yahweh Shai did. During his time on the earth and during his ministry, there would not be enough books to contain it. And Yahweh Shai, as he always says, he is a man that he cannot lie. He said that greater works than what he did, we're going to do. And that makes sense because in our lowest state, we're going to need spiritual powers to take this devil down. I mean spiritually we have we I mean we do have some sort of spiritual power. We have this truth. But as the Bible says, you know, when that devil comes down upon us with great wrath, knowing that he have a short time, hey, as the scripture said, they the Lord's gonna have to lift up a standard. As the worldly saying goes, for every action, there's an equal opposite and reaction. We can't beat bad Uncle Esau with, with a gun. That's his blessing. So the Lord has to give us an equal and, and opposite uh, force to counteract Esau's blessing. And that's these spiritual powers, which I just, let me read this again. John 14 and 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you. He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go into my Father. So the Lord is going to endow us with spiritual powers. So when that time comes, when that devil, as quoted in Revelation, comes down upon us with great wrath, knowing that he has but a short time, Hey, the Lord is going to lift up that standard. I think that's in oh, St. Jeremiah 51. You know, I don't want to make this too long. see or is it Isaiah 51 uh, Isaiah 59 
Yep, sorry about that. That's Isaiah 59. And 18. It says, you know, I'm going to just start at 19. Isaiah 59 and 19, it says, So shall they fear the name of Yahweh from the west, which is here, and his glory from the rising of the sun, which is east, when the enemy shall come in like a flood. That matches with that revelation. The spirit of Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. And what's that standard? Endowing the elite of the elect with spiritual powers. As the scripture says, to break in pieces the nation. And as quoted in Daniel, uh, the seventh chapter, so we can then take the kingdom through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because once we become that weapon, which bad Uncle Esau knows by getting these spiritual powers, he he, he knows he's through. Uh, let's see. Jeremiah 51 and 20. It says, Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. And he's talking about Israel because when you go to the 19th chapter, it says, The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things. He was the beginning and he's the creator of all things. And Israel is the rod of his inheritance. Yahweh of hosts is his name. So, the Lord's talking about Israel. It says, Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee, basically, I'm going to use you, people, my people, will I, for with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms, and with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider, and with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman. And with thee will I break in pieces old and young. And with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock. And with thee will I break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen. And with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers. And I will to Babylon, the scriptures too, folks, because you have to remember, this place is also Babylon because it's filled with nothing but confusion. And you go to uh, never mind, but in any case, I, I forgot where it was, but it also calls uh, America the virgin daughter of Babylon. And it says, I will render to Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea all their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight, saith Yahweh. So in these precepts, the Lord just said that he's going to use Israel, his people, Israel, particularly the elite of the elect, the 144,000. He's going to use these particular being to completely destroy everything that is wicked and came against the Lord. Just like when you got in the movie Brightburn, you had this guy and he had, I think uh, he made the conspiracy theorist guy. I think he had about, it was about, I don't know if it was like six or eight other pictures with figures that you really couldn't see, but they also had spiritual powers and they were across the world in different places doing similar things. Hey, like I said, Esau knows what's about to go down and he's petrified. Just like he made the, the conspiracy guy look like petrified. You have to ask yourself, if he wasn't petrified, why is he 
going through so much effort to hide the truth, to, to develop a Star Wars program that uh, 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 making all different types of, of robots and AI and Iron Man suits and trying to study uh, uh, telepathy and different things to make the body be stronger. He's not just researching and, and doing these things for no reason. Bad Uncle Esau knows that this standard is going to be lifted one day. And once we get those spiritual powers, then we really going to see who's mighty in that day. And he already knows that we're better than him. He already knows that we're more mighty than him. It's just that he's not going to give it up without a fight. But yeah, that's a... Uh, Yeah, I mean, this was a, a great movie. I'm going to have to go see it twice. I mean, there is a lot of other things that I could say about this movie, but that was just the aspect of it that really stood out with uh, the, the this young man, uh, Brandon, waking up to the fact of who he is, having spiritual power. Other people like him on Earth have a spiritual power, and they're just taking over the world by force. Uh, just a beautiful thing to watch so uh go check it out and uh i hope you all were edified once again giving all glory on and praises to yahweh bahashem yahweh shai double honors to the apostle elders a great millstone rule well and salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word in love truth sincerity humility with that we're gonna say shalom